Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about the first look scene. So that was the new sneak peek that was released yesterday. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so yes, The Flash is coming out on Tuesday. IGN just released a new sneak peek at The Flash Season 7, Episode 1. So I'll leave the link in the description below so you guys can go watch that clip and then come back to this video because we're going to be breaking down the scene because it's our first sneak peek into the show. We've only had trailers and promos so far, that being two trailers. Also, we've had some synopsis release and additionally some photos, but we haven't had one whole scene. So this is our first good look really at The Flash Season 7, Episode 1. So let's go ahead and break it down. So. What's happening in this scene? Well, you have Barry, you have Joe, and you have Cecile. They're in the CCPD headquarters, and, you know, they're basically some of the only people left in Team Flash. And they're trying to work out where this black hole tech that they're looking from is. And at the start of the scene, they talk about Eva, and she's been hitting all of these places. I suppose she's going to be trying to get to all the black hole operatives and whatever her main goal is in all of these specific locations. So Barry is crossing off and circling the spots on the map and this is just around Central City and so apparently according to the scene Eva has hit more than nine spots just in one night so she is very busy going around the city and doing what she needs to do because obviously we're building up to the kind of finale which is going to be episode three which would have been the finale for last season and obviously when we get to that you're going to have like a big battle at the end and it's going to be Eva versus Barry who probably has speed back by then and Iris will be out. And so yeah, Barry is crossing all of this out, and then you got Cecile here that you can see in this shot, and she is just listening to Barry, along with Joe as Barry talks about all of this, and Barry's talking about like how he's missed her every time. Like, more than nine times there was alerts that last night that she's been hitting all of these places, and Barry's gone after her, according to the scene. However, he says he's not fast enough, and Barry only has a few days worth left of speed, that is what he says in the sneak peek. And then he corrects himself and says, maybe only a few hours. So his speed is running out fast. And so they really need to get it back. And we know throughout this episode, Nash is going to be working on some dangerous and risky plans to try and get Barry's speed back. They're going to be working on the artificial speed force, which we'll get to in a minute because there is a reference to it later in the scene. However, this is going to be a big thing going into this episode. And I presume the next few episodes, trying to get Barry's speed back because without his speed, He's basically running on nothing, and like, he can barely catch Eva with his remaining speed. And so you got all these reactions, like Joe looking at Barry, and Barry's doing this whole talk, and in the scene, Barry confirms that Eva is going after all of these black hole operatives, and then they talk about Scudder and Dylan. And so if you don't know who they are, because, you know, they're just referring to them by their surnames, they are, in fact, the original Mirror Master and the top. We haven't seen them in a long time, obviously that big episode that they were together was in season 3 and they were in the future and so you got to see the Mirror Master taking on Barry and the top was there as well. So I think it's kind of funny that she is going after the original Mirror Master who has his own Mirrorverse. I'm presuming Eva probably doesn't know much about him being like the original Mirror Master because she is like the new Mirror Master. And so yeah, I think it's just cool that he's included in this episode. We're not going to see him in this episode. But we will see the top and there's going to be lots of references to Scudder, aka the original Mirror Master. And so they are apparently working for Black Hole, or were at one point, and she's just going after everyone who has been associated with Black Hole at all. And obviously this is payback for her being stuck in the Mirrorverse due to Carver, her husband obviously, and all of the people that worked for him. So yeah, that's what's kind of happening in the first part of this scene. Also a big thing to note, this shot here which shows a black hole sign was found in Scudder's remains. That means that the original Mirror Master was killed by the new Mirror Master. So that's something that I kind of missed out when I first listened to this because I was like, Scudder, I recognize that name. But then I double checked and I was like, oh crap, that's the original Mirror Master. So, so Eva has killed one of her fellow rogues. And obviously she might not know who he is, but he's dead. And this is a major character in the show because he was supposed to be like one of the new leading rogues since Captain Cold and Heatwave went away to Legends. So yeah, we're not going to be seeing any more of him unless he somehow gets back alive or it's like Mirror Master from another Earth. 
he's dead and somehow the top has got away because we've seen her in the DC fandom trailer and we'll get to that in a minute because there's going to be a lot of Cecile stuff to do with the top in this episode. So that's quite shocking actually now I think of it that she's literally just killed one of the big rogues from the show. And anyway, let's move on to the next bit. And so Cecile brings up Sue Diabon and she pulls up this newspaper which shows that Sue is still the main suspect in the death of Joseph Carver. Obviously you had that bit in the season finale where Eva basically frames Sue and so she's still on the run and according to Cecile who says this, she and Ralph are staying way off the grid. So Ralph is referenced and Ralph is there and he's with Sue. I'm presuming maybe we're going to see Sue sometime in this episode because I believe she was actually in the trailer and I think at one point she's going to show up at CCPD and we know she's going to appear multiple times throughout the season. As even with Ralph going away, she's going to have her own story and she's not going to have to depend on Ralph to actually stick around because obviously they planned to have those two characters together but due to the circumstances with what happened to Hartley Sawyer and obviously he plays Ralph, he's not going to be showing up on the show ever again. And so they needed to find something else to sue, but for now, this was what was planned originally, that they would have hidden out together, and then they probably would have come back after, you know, they figured out this whole Eva deal and they cleared her name. So I guess now the question to do with Sue is what is happening with Ralph because that is related to what's happening with Sue because they are staying way off the grid and they literally reference Ralph in this sneak peek. So Ralph is going to be showing up, but I'm not sure if it's in this episode or like the episode after or episode three. It's going to be happening sometime around then. They are recasting Ralph and they are going to bring him into the show once more. However, it's not going to be Harley Sawyer. Ralph is going to be looking different and that is put down to him being a shapeshifter. He can change his appearance. So they're going to have one scene to say goodbye for the fans because a lot of people really liked Ralph. However, due to the current circumstances with Harley getting fired, He's not going to show up and that is totally reasonable because he did say some bad stuff and the show is having to work around that and Ralph is going to show up at some point but it's going to be someone else and you will get your goodbye scene. So I don't know if it's going to happen in this episode or not but he is referencing the sneak peek so it's going to happen very soon. Okay so let's move on to the next bit. So Barry mentions in the sneak peek that Caitlin and Cisco are still gone too. So I guess the big question here is where are they? Well we know that Cisco in the finale was supposedly going to Atlantis. Yes, Atlantis means Aquaman, but Aquaman's not gonna show up. Obviously that was just a reference and he's gonna come back with something vital. I forgot what he was going there to get, but it was going there to get something. So I presume that's where Cisco is. And I'm not sure where Caitlyn is, but she was supposed to go off, I believe, and be with her mom, I think. However, I may be wrong about that because it's been quite a while, but maybe I need to go back and recap that. Let me know in the comments down below. Did I get that wrong? Where is Caitlyn? But I'm pretty sure it's something like that. And I'm presuming Cisco and Caitlyn are probably going to return in like episode 3 or something because we've seen some behind the scenes photos and Caitlyn was in fact there. I don't remember if Cisco was there because I don't think he's been around that much. However, he is going to be showing back up and both of them will be back very soon. But in episode 1, it doesn't seem like they're going to be back. Anyway, so Barry adds on top of this. Iris is not there as well. Obviously, we're going to be tackling the Mirrorverse stuff. Iris is going to be trying to get out of the Mirrorverse herself. I think she's going to be working with Singh and Camilla, who are both stuck inside the Mirrorverse because we saw some stuff recently. Well, actually, it was quite a while ago, and there were some leaks where we saw Camilla and Iris being together inside the Mirrorverse because they did, like, some graphics that were backwards. So they're going to be exploring parts of this Mirrorverse version of Central City, and they're going to be trying to get out themselves. Whereas at the same time, like Barry says, he's going to be trying to get Iris out of the Mirrorverse. And in the recent trailer, he says he found a way in. And from the recent synopsis, we know that Iris is not going to get out in Episode 1. However, she may get out in Episode 2, but it's probably more likely she's going to get out in Episode 3. Because according to some leaks, we've seen her on the set for Episode 3 when Eva has that final showdown with all of her clones. So there is lots of stuff that we kind of know but we don't have like a full picture and this sneak peek kind of adds up some of that and teases some of what we're going to see. And so Barry heads back to Star Labs this is what he says in the sneak peek and so he's trying to go back and he's trying to fix and make the artificial speed force actually work and maybe it'll get up and running. I'm curious to see if what Nash's plan is, is something to do with Barry getting that blue lightning. Is he going to take a version of Velocity 9 
or is this the artificial speed force working and this artificial speed force is a little bit like V9 or it kind of works in a similar way because V9 is like a drug, it's artificial and that's why it gives him the blue lightning. So if this artificial speed force is kind of similar, it would probably give him blue lightning and so it kind of makes sense as to why in the trailer Barry is running and his lightning kind of changes and shifts between all of these different colors obviously like orangey yellow is his normal color and then he gets streaks of blue lightning as well so that seems part of nash's dangerous experiment in this episode and so with barry leaving the ccpd here he's going back and he's probably going to work with nash on that trying to fix it and i'm still curious do you think they are actually going to make this artificial speed force work are they gonna somehow involve Thorn? Obviously we had that photo recently where Barry is wearing Thorn's glasses. Is Thorn somehow becoming Barry, like taking him over and helping him make this artificial speed force? Could something like that happen? I think there's a possibility that that is part of Nash's plan. However, I don't know how likely it is that Thorn is gonna show up in person. I think he's gonna be there in spirit, maybe pushing him on giving him some hints of how to create the speed force because obviously the negative speed force that Thor made is the only artificial speed force that has ever been made before and obviously his lightning changed so it makes sense if Barry creates this artificial speed force he's gonna have like a different color lightning and maybe that's what's happening with the mix of orange and blue. So there are lots of possibilities I want to know in the comments down below what do you guys think about all of this let me know. Now let's move on to the last thing before this sneak peek ends. And so they talk about how they are looking for some black hole tech, we don't know what specific tech it is, but I'm guessing it's something to do with either being able to duplicate herself, or something to do with her main overall plan. We don't know what her final plan is, I'm presuming we're going to find that out probably in episode 1 or episode 2, and then you're going to have the big confrontation in episode 3 which would have been the finale, and so Joe thinks that the top knows where this tech is. And so they just recently apprehended her and that is why she's in the CCPD and that's why you saw her in the DC fandom trailer. We've seen bits with the top and Cecile and that specific scene they have together. So this tech seems to be very important and that is why Eva is going around to all of these different places. Like it said in the sneak peek, she hit nine different places in one night. So she's keeping really busy and it seems like maybe the top is going to be the one with the answers. And so Cecile suggests to Joe that she can act as the top's defense attorney to get that information from her, the information that they need in order to somehow track down Eva, I would suppose, and put a stop to her evil plans. And obviously right now, Barry can't do much because he's literally losing speed minute by minute, day by day. So Barry's gonna need all the help that he can get. And it's not very helpful that half of his team is away. Iris is in the Mirrorverse, Cisco is in Atlantis, Caitlyn is wherever she is. And so I think this is why Cecile is going to play a big part in this episode. She's going to find out where this tech is. And then back at Star Labs, you've got Chester and Nash working on the Speed Force with Barry. Whilst Joe is doing his job, he's investigating and he's trying to figure out what is happening. Is there any sort of links to where Eva is popping up? And I guess trying to cut her off before she gets to all of her different targets. And so in the DC fandom trailer that was released a while ago with just episode 1 footage before they went back to film, we saw some scenes with Cecile on the top and we know the top somehow manipulates her and gets into her head because they have similar empath powers and so that's why she can tap into her and Cecile is going to have to resist her and this is obviously just part of her way to try and get out and try and be released by manipulating Cecile. But I think ultimately by the end of the episode or at least part way through the episode Cecile is going to get through to the top. And she's going to play a pivotal role in the episode because she's going to find out where that black hole tech is. And I think that's going to, in the end, lead them to where Eva is. So that is about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications to not miss any videos. Also, just one more thing. I've added an update to the membership. So if you want to become a member of the channel, all you need to do is click the join button, which is next to the subscribe button. On my channel and so you get lots of benefits including cool membership badges and your name is different from everyone else so you stand out but a new addition that you guys may be interested in is if you join the second tier of the memberships you will be getting a monthly 30 minutes to an hour long chat with me we'll be doing this on zoom and we'll probably start at the end of march so if you guys want to upgrade or you want to become a member for the first time and talk to me in real life 
via Zoom and talk to your fellow fans slash members, please be sure to join us by clicking the join button and clicking the second tier or the third tier. But that's just a little update in terms of our memberships, but for now, that is about it for this video, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.